what's good in the hood guys welcome back to another video and as you can see by the title we are talking about youtube and just everything about youtube in general recently and the things that have been bothering me and just my thoughts i'm talking about them today there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark you should know you're beautiful just the way you are and you don't have to change as you guys can see on youtube or if even if you post videos that YouTube is in a massive slump right now, meaning videos aren't getting good views, good ratings, good anything, unless you're already super fucking popular and you're just killing it right now. If you're not one of those few lucky people, your channel right now is probably struggling and you just overall feel like shit about doing YouTube. And as of right now, I mean, that's kind of where I stand. Like, I'll never feel completely like shit about making videos because in the end, I make videos. No one's forcing me to. Like, I don't have to sit here, record for a video, none of that shit. So if it's making me unhappy, I'm not gonna do it. So, right? Like, nah, I'm not saying I'm not happy with YouTube, but at the same time, it's kind of eh right now. And I say that because I've worked my way to 90,000 subscribers, which I have each and every one of you guys that have hit that button to thank for. But at the same time, I've grinded so very hard to get where I am on YouTube today. And if you take a look at my last few videos and their view counts and just ratings in general, it hasn't been the best for someone with an active 90,000 subscribers. I honestly have no idea if it's YouTube to blame when it comes to sub boxes. I have no idea. I know I'm not the most entertaining person and a lot of the time people subscribe to me because of dark matter. I, I'm a completely aware of that. I've gained majority of my subscribers this year from Dark Matter series videos, and I'm really thankful, don't get me wrong, but when people subscribe for one thing, and one thing only, and they don't subscribe because of the person making the video, the slump at this time of the year, from experience now, I can say is fucking awful. Like, I've experienced this slump, but never this bad, because when I started the year in January, I was at 23,000 subscribers. So around this Call of Duty time, I was around 15,000 last year when the new Call of Duty came out. So in general, my channel wasn't really, you know, big enough to feel this slump this heavily. And since I've gained over 25 plus thousand subscribers this year it's hit me really fucking hard and it actually hurts a little bit like it really does i feel like a noob saying that and it might make me feel like a jackass but like you gotta see it from my point of view i've put in hours upon hours of time and effort and energy and just everything into making youtube videos i've gained <laughs> myself 90,000 subscribers doing it and then all of a sudden after killing it for so long everyone kind of just fades away and disappears like just imagine how i feel when people do that to me yes i still do get insanely good numbers compared to a lot of people and i'm really appreciative of what i have don't get me wrong but it's in the aspect of I've gained myself to 90 and then all of a sudden I feel like it was taken away. So that's kind of, why do we even try to fucking knife in this game? Like, fuck. So that's where I stand with that. I know it's going to pick up and when the new Call of Duties come out and shit and whatnot. And it's just going to be like, why did I even make a video about it in the first place? But it's just how I feel with YouTube at the moment. The slump sucks ass. And if you're one of the lucky people that can kill it through this slump, I am actually proud of you. But enough about that, like I honestly do not want to make myself look ungrateful or greedy in any way possible. Like I just don't want that to be what you guys think of me after this video. It's just, I'm a little frustrated as a YouTuber that's put in a lot of work and seen results to kind of see those results like fade away. Like I do understand, like I said, a lot of my subscribers came from Road to Dark Matter. And with me getting Dark Matter, I haven't been able to make videos like that. And I've kind of burnt myself out with that. And just, it sucks. It really does. But I don't want to sit here and complain about that the whole video because I know it's going to get better eventually. And right now, I'm in the mindset of making videos because I want to make videos. I've always, like, no one's forcing me to make YouTube videos. Let's be serious here. So if I didn't want to post a video, I wouldn't. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. So that's that it just sucks knowing that you had viewers at one point that no longer watch your videos because of what you post that in itself is self-explanatory if you are here right now watching this video i honestly appreciate you if you watch videos where i just sit here and talk and be a fucking whatever i may be i i really do appreciate it like 
more than you'll ever know. But as you guys can see, the title is something like, am I quitting YouTube or quitting YouTube? And no, it is not clickbait. I am gonna talk about that in today's video. The thought of quitting YouTube rarely crosses my mind because YouTube is something that I care for so much. I've put in, like I've put in thousands of dollars of my hard earned work, eight hours a day money into my energy, time, and just, hours upon hours just everything about youtube i care for so much because i've tried so hard and i've worked endlessly at it for years hours and i've done it daily for like a long time whether I, if i post a video or if i don't post a video i'm constantly thinking about my next step on youtube and just in general i love this website so fucking much even though it's like a love-hate relationship sometimes i love it i love making videos so the thought of quitting has never really crossed my mind a few very few times one time i thought about it i was roughly 4,000 subscribers and the only reason why i thought even remotely about quitting youtube was because you know i'm entering adulthood i may not have the time to do it anymore especially the fact that i don't make a living off of it if you did not know that now you do i work a full eight hour day job and that is how I make money to, you know, pay my bills and shit. So YouTube remains a hobby and I always want it to remain a hobby. Yes, it would probably help a great deal if I made thousands of thousands of dollars off of YouTube, but I don't want to depend on it as a job. I'm not at that point of YouTube and I don't think I ever will be, but Steiny's in my fucking game, you piece of shit. Steiny's my bud, by the way. He's a really cool dude. I, for a fact, know myself better than anyone in this entire world, and I can say from deep down in my heart, I never want YouTube to be my main source of income. I always want to do something outside of YouTube that I consider my job, because as soon as I turn something that I do for fun, that's a hobby, into a job, I automatically think like, oh, I have to do this now or else I don't make a dollar, <laughs> you know? Like, I just don't ever want to look at YouTube like that and be dependent on it because as soon as I do that, I feel like YouTube itself is just not what it was meant to be. So just the fact of thinking about quitting one day, it tears my heart apart and it most likely will never happen. I'm gonna reassure you over and over. But like I've thought about it because life is really unexpected. And if we're, if something drastic were to change in my life, YouTube would be the first thing to go. It's the easiest thing that takes up majority of my time. Just shit like that, right? So like, I just think about the effort, the money that I've put into this and shit. And it's crazy like youtube is such a huge part of my life and i've really never grasped that until like i sit down and think about it like it's changed my life whether i think about it or not youtube has genuinely changed my life like i've met so many awesome people doing youtube i've it, like all over the world dude i've met so many awesome people doing this and just in general youtube has brought me opportunities that i never thought i would ever get and just it's a wild concept and I was just thinking about quitting. I never want to quit and I most likely never will, but these are my emotions guys. So everything that you have just heard in this video is me kind of ranting. So with the videos that I've been posting most recently, it's been back to not what you guys want to see, but what I want to post because like I said, I was killing it on YouTube. I had a lot of readings, I had a lot of comments, I had a lot of views. I had all this shit and I had a bunch of people telling me what they wanted to see and giving me constructive criticism and now with that gone down, no one's really telling me what they really want to see anymore so I've gone back to making videos about and doing what I want to do and that's what I've been doing. But when the new Call of Duty's come out and stuff, I like I, I expect you guys to comment below telling me what you guys want to fucking see so yeah. Um, that, this video has just been me ranting. I honestly hope you enjoyed it. And if you're a YouTuber or anything along those lines, I hope you can kind of relate to me in some way or another. If you can, I'm glad. If you can't, well, I'm sorry. You just wasted like 10 minutes of your life. But yeah, hopefully you guys had a good day and I will see you fucking tomorrow. Have a good night.